One of the best things about Experience Builder is that you can provide your users a lot of functionality and a lot of different frames within a single compact space. This upper portion is a navigation menu, while this lower portion is a section frame with multiple views configured within it. In this first tutorial, which is part one, we are going to learn how to configure the section frame with multiple views. And in part two tutorial, we will learn how to configure that navigation menu. So I am going to go ahead and delete both of these and start from the beginning. The section widgets are found at the bottom of the insert widget panel, which is in the lower left portion of the screen currently. This section widget is the first thing that we are going to configure in this first part one tutorial. When you pull in the section frame, you'll see that it already includes the first view by default. You can see that over here on the right in the section configuration panel. Right here, it's called view. You can also see that it, when we select the frame in our working canvas, that it says we have one of one views. There are two different ways we can add another view. The first is to click on the plus sign here in our working canvas. And you'll see that when I do, the number ratio turns into two total frames. And right now I'm still on the first view uh, within, that, within that frame. And you can see over here that there are two view frames and the first one is called view, the second one is called view two. If I wanted to add another view frame to my section frame, I can click on new view here as well in the configuration panel on the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now you can see that we have three view frames within our section frame. We are currently on viewing the third view. And you can see that up here as well in the canvas, it says we are on three of three. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back to one. And in one, I am going to pull in a map. And then when I pull that map in, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this the full size of that section frame. And now in order to get back to the configuration panel on the right for my section frame, I can't just click here in the middle of the map. You can see I'm clicking in the map. And what that does is it brings me to my map configuration panel. I need to hover over this section frame and you can see these three dots right here in the upper middle portion. That is an overflow menu. And when I hover over that and then click on this settings icon, that will bring me to the settings for my section frame. Now I'm going to navigate to the next view, which is the second of three. And I'm gonna go ahead and come down and just pull in a table. When I pull in that table, I'm also going to go over to the style and I'm just going to make it the full size. I am going to do this one more time over on my third view frame. I'm going to pull in a chart and then I'll go ahead and style that the full size of the section frame. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now you can see, I'm gonna go back to the settings for my section frame, that we have three views. We have uh, the first view, we have view two and view three. Now we can either navigate bet between those here on the screen by using these navigation arrows, or we can navigate by simply clicking on the view over in the configuration panel on the right. Go ahead and go on to our part two so you can see how we can create a navigation menu for our users.